In honor of the United States military and in memory of EK graduate and Navy SEAL David Warson, there'll be a pregame ceremony at Center Ice. To honor this night, the EK varsity hockey team has wrapped their sticks in commemorative camouflage tape and Mona Shores has chosen to wear their own special black dedication jerseys. Please feel free to purchase one of the many memory items tonight, including a $10 raffle ticket for the jersey autographed by NHL player Mike Knubel. Proceeds will go toward the Worson Family Foundation. Enjoy the evening. Good evening. Uh, my name is John Conlon. I'm the varsity soccer coach at East Kentwood. And I was asked to speak tonight about David Warson Jr. Uh, and I'm not sure if my words can adequately describe David or my relationship with Dave, uh, but I knew him for 13 years and what started out as a coach-player relationship ended up as a very close friendship. Uh, he had a deep impact on, on myself and also my family. I've been asked many times uh, to describe Dave and, and if I knew he was going to be a Navy SEAL. And uh, that's tough to answer because I don't think people realize how difficult it is to become a Navy SEAL. So I thought about this all day and, and the best way to describe David uh, is a couple pieces from the SEAL code. First of all, the SEAL code says uh, every member must have loyalty to country, team, and teammates. Second of all, it says they must serve with honor and integrity on and off the battlefield. And third, the SEAL code said they must be ready to lead, ready to follow, and never quit. And I think that's probably the most accurate description of David I could give. Uh, the last thing I want to say about Dave, uh, Dave will be in my heart forever. But there's a moment in the past 13 years that I'll never forget. In 2010, as we arrived as a team at the state championship game, I got a call from Dave Sr. telling me that Dave Jr. had just flown in from California. And Ryan, his youngest brother, who was our starting keeper, had no idea. Now, Ryan is a pretty tough kid, and he'll tell you he's tough. But he was nervous, very nervous. Uh, when he got off the bus and he saw his brother David, all nerves were gone. It was probably one of the greatest moments uh, I can remember as a coach. Great moment between two brothers and also a father and two sons. So those are my thoughts on David Warson, um, an unbelievable human being. We have a plaque um, that is dedicated uh, to David Warson and will be given to the Warson family that I'd like to read. The plaque says, in memory of David Warson, U.S. military, petty officer, second class, and East Kentwood graduate, we are grateful for your service to protect and defend our country. We are honored to dedicate this night and hockey game to you. And it's followed by a quote from General George S. Patton. Many who should know better think that wars can be decided by soulless machines rather than by blood and anguish of brave men. So in honor of David Warson, I'd like to dedicate this plaque to the Warson family. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is John Keenoy, and I'm the principal of East Kentwood High School. And welcome to the Kentwood Ice Arena. Tonight, two communities come together <clears throat> to celebrate and honor the life of Petty Officer Second Class David Warson. A son, a brother, a friend, and a falcon. But more importantly, a true American hero. Tonight we take a moment to thank David and his family and those that serve and have served this great nation. If you are currently serving or have served in the military, please rise and be recognized for your service.
Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Gentlemen, remove your caps. Presenting our nation's colors tonight will be the U.S. Navy Honor Guard and the national anthem will be performed by East Kent Woods Varsity Voices. Stripes and bright stars through the past. 